Hi everyone, today we're tackling how to erase a background from a photo and I'll be using PicMonkey. So the first thing I did is I'm creating one from a template of 1280 by 720, which is the standard YouTube thumbnail size. You could do a square, you could do whatever. First thing we're going to do is going to be make it a transparent background because most of us will have a photo we took against a white background just like I did. And of course the goal is to have a completely transparent background. So next to the tab for basic there's also one that says eraser. We're going to click on this and then we can actually adjust the size of our cursor to a larger or smaller size. You can also increase the hardness eraser here to make it more opaque. Anywhere that you see the circle is going to be where it's going to increase and erase that background. So you can go ahead and start with a larger one on the outside and then what you want to do as you get more towards the center where the lines and details are you're going to decrease the eraser size and zoom in that way you have more control on where you're erasing. Do try and take your time and be precise here but if you mess up don't worry you can always hit command Z and step backwards so you can erase whatever you just did and keep going from there. Another way to fix your mistake is to switch it from the eraser tool to the one right next to it that looks like a little paintbrush and you can use that to fill back in the area that maybe you took too much. One way that I like to test to make sure that my edges are smooth is that I will change the color of the background of the canvas color so then it will show me what it would look like against a color and then I can see all the spots that I missed and then I can go back and keep fixing them. Once you're satisfied with how it looks, you can transition back to a transparent background and drag that image into your iMovie project. I decided to go ahead and finish up and make a thumbnail out of it, so I'm just going to walk you through how I am going to do that. I just decided to tilt my image a little bit because I thought it looked a little bit more interesting if it was tilted. Then I decided to add an overlay of a geometric shape, and I was going to try and match the color of the packaging a little bit, so I'm trying to fuss around and find that kind of a, a green color and then I'm going to throw that box around it which you'll see has an inside and an outside color and I decided I kind of liked the look of how that was and I was just playing around with some options until I found an option that I liked. And now I'm ready to add some text onto my thumbnail. If you guys want a video on how to download fonts, I have downloaded one from Defont and added it to my library. It's pretty simple to do. I could certainly make a video and show you how to do that. If I do multiple lines of text on a thumbnail, I like to have them as separate text boxes. That way I can control the spacing in between as opposed to letting PicMonkey do it. And in my last line of text, I was going to write in PicMonkey. And then I decided, you know what? I'm going to go and actually get the brand assets and find that PNG background so I can actually have the logo for it. Then I just added that official PNG as an overlay to my image and then all that was left was messing around with it until I liked the way that it looked overall. And this is what I ended up with. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys. Bye.